Hey guys, welcome back. So I have been wanting to do this one brand makeup tutorial for you guys for quite some time. Um, you all know that I love Wet n Wild makeup products, so it's probably been a surprise that I haven't done a one brand makeup tutorial using Wet n Wild products. Um, like I always think to do it, but I don't have, I didn't have everything that I needed to do a one brand Wet n Wild makeup tutorial. Um, so I went out today to Walmart and Walgreens and looked at a bunch of different Wet n Wild products. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into this because I know that these videos get really long. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with this Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. Um, I just picked this up today. Like this is the first time that I'm going to use this. Um, so we're going to see how this goes. But this is basically just like a lotion to me. <laughs> that was a lovely face I made. I was like, <laughs> and my lips are stained right now because I was swatching a bunch of different lipstick colors on my lips before I decided to film this video because um, I was trying to figure out which lipstick color I wanted to use um, with this tutorial. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to mix both of these because the fair light looks like it might be a little too pinkish or a little too dark for me and I know that fair is going to be too light. So I'm going to mix these two together and hopefully that will give me like the perfect shade that I need. This one over here is fair light and this one over here is fair. So you can tell that the shades are quite a bit different. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to mix these two together. Now I have used this coverall cream foundation before and it's one of my favorite foundations. Um, I absolutely love it. It has great coverage. I'm um, trying to turn my light back up. It has great coverage and it lasts all day long, so I do really like this foundation. Um, I'm just going to dot some of it here on my face first. And then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. brush. I had it a second ago and now I don't know what I did with it. I can't remember the name of it, so I'll just put it in the video. But I'm going to use this to blend in the foundation. I do feel that both of these shades mixed together work, it seems like it works pretty good. Um, it still might be slightly a little too light for me, kind of like put too much foundation there. Um, but I think like once I get the rest of my makeup done, like my bronzer and everything, I think it's going to look okay. And then I'm just using this Sigma Tapered F86 brush to blend around my nose. So yeah, I would definitely say skip this primer if you have dry skin because I'm sorry, I know I look dead right now because my lips are covered with foundation and I don't have any concealer on yet. Um, but yeah, I would say skip this primer if you have dry skin because it seems like it makes your skin feel even more dry and honestly, I feel like it was even harder to blend out the, the foundation using this stuff. So. Yeah, dry skin, I'd say steer clear from this because I don't like the way it makes my skin feel. Now with the concealers that I picked up today to use with this tutorial, I picked up the Wet n Wild Cover All Cover Stick and the Come Correct Celebrity Concealer, um, the Fergie one. I tested both of these out like on the back of my hand and I tried to put this underneath my eye before I filmed this video to see how it would be. And this thing is not good for the under eye area. Like it's not creamy enough. Um, it seems like kind of drying and hard to blend out. So yeah, this was a flop. I would not recommend this whatsoever. It's going to go in my crap products bag because yeah, this thing is not good. I wish I could show you guys like what I'm talking about, but it's like cakey and it's not very easy to blend out so I don't know who in the heck that would even work for um so yeah this is no good with this come correct celebrity concealer I picked up the wrong shade I got medium golden and I should have gotten the lighter one um in the tube it looks like it wouldn't be too dark but whenever I swatched it on my hand it looked super dark um, for like an under eye concealer or even for a face concealer for me like I don't know if you can tell on my hand like it is 
It's pretty dark, so I know that that is not gonna work for me. It seems like really full coverage and it seems super moisturizing and creamy, but at the same time it sets up really nice. Um, so I don't think it would crease on the under eye area. So I'll have to go back and get the lighter shade in this and test it out and let you guys know what I think about it. Since neither of those concealers are gonna work, I'm just gonna use this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color light, or no, I'm sorry, in the color fair. And I'm just gonna use that for my under eye concealer today. To set my foundation, I picked up the Coverall Press Powder. And this is in the shade light. This was another product that I picked up today because I didn't have like a pressed powder from uh, Wet n Wild. Yeah, the powder seems nice. Like it doesn't seem like powdery um, or cakey. Wet n Wild doesn't make an under eye setting powder, so I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. high definition under eye setting powder to set my under eye concealer. I always use this product to set my under eye concealer. It's like my go-to and it works awesome um, to set your under eye concealer and to keep it from creasing. A few days ago on Instagram, I saw that Wet n Wild was making um, a makeup setting spray. So I like looked all over the place at Walgreens and at Walmart to see if I could find that, but I didn't see it anywhere in the stores yet. So I don't know if it's maybe carry it at a different store or maybe Wet n Wild hasn't launched it quite yet but I would be so interested to pick up that makeup setting spray um, but since I don't have that Wet n Wild makeup setting spray today I'm just gonna be using my elf makeup mist and set to set this foundation and to just like tone down any powders or anything like that I always set my foundations with the makeup setting spray so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that if you are looking for like a good affordable makeup setting spray, I do recommend this e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. It is a really good one. Whenever I was at Walmart, I was trying to find some good Wet n Wild brow products and, my, and, <laughs> and I came across the Color Icon Brow Pencil, which looks like this. It has like the little spoolie on this side and the pencil on this side. I don't know if this is new or not. I feel like it is because I haven't seen it before until today whenever I went looking, you know, for some of these Wet n Wild products that I didn't have for this tutorial. And the shade that I picked up is in Brunette's Do It Better. So it's just like a brunette color. Okay, so yeah, it definitely seems super creamy. Um, I might not be using this. <laughs> because if it's too creamy, it's not gonna work for me. Mm. Yeah, I don't think that this brow pencil is gonna work for me because the consistency of it is way too creamy. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Um, yeah, so this is a flop. This, ugh, I don't like it, so I'm not gonna use it. Um, that's unfortunate because I was really hoping I'd like that thing, but it's way too creamy like it's not waxy enough um, Yeah, that's not gonna work. I'm just gonna be using my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color chocolate to fill in my brows and I did pick up this wet n wild mega clear mascara, which is just like a clear mascara You can also use it to set your brows in place and um, so I'm gonna use this to set my brows Usually I use a tinted brow gel, but we're just going to use this today and I'll let you guys know down in the comments how I felt like it held my brows in place. Now I'm moving on to the eyes and I'm just going to be using this Wet n Wild Fergie eyeshadow primer to prime my eyelids. I really love this eyeshadow primer. It's one of my favorites from the drugstore. I highly recommend it. Like. It keeps my eyeshadows in place all day. It keeps them from fading and from creasing. And it also has a slight tint to it, so it will help to neutralize like veins or discoloration on your eyelids. Just to ensure that I'm not gonna get any eyeshadow fallout, I'm gonna go in with some shadow shields and put those down under my eyes. I'm just gonna be using this Fergie Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette that I got out of this Fergie Center Stage Eye Collection gift set. And I picked up that gift set at Walgreens if you're curious and want to know where to pick that up at. And it's super affordable, it's like $10 for that gift set, so 
it's well worth it. Like this palette is awesome. Like I love this eyeshadow palette. Um, first, I'm just gonna go in with this mid-tone brown in this palette and I'm gonna put it in the crease of my eye and I'm just gonna use my Sigma E40 blending brush. And then I'm gonna go in with this gold color right here and I'm just gonna use the Sigma E55 shading brush and I'm gonna put this color here on the front part of my eyelid and take it like halfway over. And I'm just really packing that gold color on and just making it really intense. And then I'm gonna go in with this color here. It's like a sparkly dark brown. And I'm just gonna use the other side of the E55 shading brush to get this color on the brush. And then I'm just gonna pat this color next to this gold on the last part of the eyelid. And then I'm gonna go back with some more gold and just blend where that dark brown meets the gold color so there's not any harsh edges or lines. I'm going to go in with this coppery color that's next to the gold right here. And I'm just going to put that color on the E60 brush by Sigma. And I'm also going to put that where the gold meets the brown. Just like right there in the center of my lid. I think that's going to help to kind of blend the brown and gold even better. I'm actually going to go in with this um, Wet n Wild Trio in the color Silent Treatment. And I'm going to go in with this middle dark, really dark brown color. And I'm just gonna put that here on the E25 blending brush. And I'm gonna work this color here in the outer V. And I'm gonna also take it up into the crease. I really wanna deepen out the outer V and make it really dark out here. For my brow bone highlight, I'm just going to go back in with that Fergie palette and use that very first matte flesh tone color. And I'm just using my E70 brush to apply this color. Next I'm going to go ahead and do the lower lash line. And I'm going to first go in with this brown right here. And I'm just going to put that on this Lip Definer brush by e.l.f. I'm just going to kind of blend that out. I'm going to get a little bit of this really dark brown color out of the Silent Treatment palette on that same Lip Definer brush and also put that on the lower lash line. So right here in the inner corner and right here on this front part of the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with that gold color out of this palette. And I'm just going to put that on this defining eye brush by Elf. Move on with liquid liner and I'm just going to use this Mega Eyes Defining Marker and this is in the color Dark Brown, I think. Yeah, it doesn't say anywhere on the packaging, but I know on the little plastic wrap that came with this um, liquid liner, it said Dark Brown. Um, and this is the first time that I'm using this, so we're going to see how this goes. It's just like a felt tip um, liquid liner.
I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild Fergie on Edge Long Wearing Eye Pencil in the color Space Cake to line my tight line and uh, water line. And this is just a really dark brown. I picked up this mascara today. Sorry, I feel like I was all slouching. <laughs> I picked up this mascara today um, from Wet n Wild and this is called the Max Volume Plus Mascara. And I've had some of you guys tell me that you really like this mascara and that it's really good. So we're gonna see. <laughs> brush on it is just like a rubbery brush that has like little bristles on it. I do feel like it's working pretty good. It reminds me actually like the way that the brush is grabbing my lashes and everything and the way that the formula is. It kind of reminds me of the um, CoverGirl Super Sizer or the Super Sizer Mascara. That's what this mascara is reminding me of, and I love that mascara. I don't really feel like I'm getting much curling action going on with this mascara, so I'm probably going to go in once this mascara dries and curl my eyelashes with my eyelash curler. Okay, so that mascara formula is really like wet, and I don't feel like it curled my lashes very well, so I'm going to let that dry, and then I will curl my lashes up here in a minute. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do my bronzer and blush and highlight before I do my curling eyelash thing. Um, so I'm just going to go in with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the color Ticket to Brazil. This is one of my all-time favorite bronzers. I love this bronzer. It's like the perfect color for me. Um, I really like this. And I'm just going to go in with my Real Techniques powder brush to apply this bronzer. So I'm not going to contour or anything, I'm just going to bronze. So I'm just putting this in the areas where the sun would naturally, would naturally tan my face. I feel like my little desk is getting so crowded that I have here, um, where I put all my makeup whenever I film and I'm knocking stuff off. <laughs> so I'm also just going to blend up here around my hairline. If you're really, if you're darker skin tone, I would recommend the um, Bikini Contest Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. That one is really good too. Um, and I like to use that one when I'm darker, like in the summer. But right now, since we're moving into winter, I'm not very dark. So this bronzer works good. For my blush today, I'm going to use this new, well, I don't know how new this is to Wet n Wild, but I picked it up today. I feel like most of these products that I'm using I picked up today, but I do have a lot of Wet n Wild eyeshadows. I guess I just didn't really have a lot of other Wet n Wild products, but this is good for me. So it's getting me to like branch out and try some other Wet n Wild products. I mean, I've tried a ton of Wet n Wild products, but they just make so much nowadays and they're always coming out with new stuff. Because I did that video a while back on my Must Have Wet n Wild products, so I probably need to update that video here soon. Um, but I want to try out some more Wet n Wild products before I update that video. Um, but yeah, so I picked up one of the Wet n Wild Fergie blushes, and this is in the color Brush with Destiny. And this is a really pretty, like, corally peachy pink color. I feel like this would be a good like everyday blush color that would go with a lot of different makeup looks. And I'm gonna use my e.l.f. complexion brush to apply this blush. Yeah, I do like this color. It's not like super intense. It is subtle. And it is really pretty. It has a little bit of like a sheen to it. It's a really pretty color. I really do like that. And then for my highlight, I'm just going to use the Wet n Wild Color Icon um, Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana, which for me, this isn't a bronzer, it's a highlight, so that's why I'm using it as a highlight today. And I'm just going to brush this here on the apples of my cheeks. And this is one of my favorite highlights. Um, like, it's not a super intense highlight, it just gives your cheeks such a beautiful, like, glow um, it's not like chunky shimmer or anything. And I'm just going to put some here down the center of my face and like right above my eyebrows. I went ahead and curled my eyelashes because my mascara finally dried. And I went ahead and put some of this mascara on my lower lashes. 
I like this mascara okay. I wouldn't say that it's like a horrible mascara or anything. I would need to use this a few more times to really get a good opinion on it. It it is a very wet mascara and it took it a really long time to dry completely before I could curl my lashes. So I would say for me that's going to probably be a downfall and I'm probably not going to want to use this if it continues to take a really long time to dry. I know with like a lot of mascaras when you first open them they're really wet and then after you use them a few times they kind of dry out. So I'm going to give this mascara a shot and I'll use it um, for a little bit. And if it's something that I really like, I will definitely like talk about it in like a favorites video. Um, so yeah. The last thing to do with this makeup look is the lipstick. And I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Fergie lipstick in the color Ferguson Crest Cabernet. And I picked this one up today as well, this lipstick color. And I was swatching like a bunch of lipstick colors that I picked, fr picked up from Wet n Wild. Um, to try to figure out which one I wanted to use for this tutorial and I really loved this one like it was super creamy I really liked the color um, and I know that some of you guys have recommended this lipstick to me I am a little sad though because this one that I picked up it's messed up like it won't like roll up or roll down so that does make me a little sad but I'm gonna go ahead and apply this lipstick so this is what this color looks like on the lips I really like it it's dark and vampy but the same I mean this it is dark and vampy but it has that berry quality to it um, so it's a great like plum berry color for fall I really really like this color like it's super creamy and it feels nice on the lips I feel like this color would last a really long time so yeah I really like this so I hope that you guys did enjoy this one brand makeup tutorial with wet and wild um, I have so many different Wet n Wild eyeshadow like palettes and lipsticks and stuff like that. Maybe I can do another one brand makeup tutorial with Wet n Wild later on down the road. I know I've been doing a lot of videos recently with Wet n Wild products, but I just really love Wet n Wild and I'm sorry, I just, I can't help it. Like, it's so, like, Wet n Wild products are so affordable and they're just great quality, so yeah. I hope that you guys did enjoy this. If you did, please let me know. Give it a thumbs up or let me know down in the comments. And I will see you all in my next video. And I hope that you guys have a great day. Bye-bye, guys. Mwah.